Good afternoon, everybody. Meteorologist Carson Vicroy. It's going to be another cold night, but it's not as bad as what we saw last night. And a warming trend will begin next week. We're talking highs in the 40s and 50s for some locations. And I also have an idea of what your Thanksgiving Day is going to look like. Now, it's an interesting spread of temperatures after we were so cold this morning. As you can see, obviously West Yellowstone is our cold spot in the higher elevations, but we still have a few 30s and 40s across the region. The interesting part is what's going on in Glendive and Glasgow. That is because there is a cold front there, and that area of the Treasure State is cold enough to support snow. This front is nothing that we have to worry about, though. It's actually going to stay in the same location and weaken over here for the next couple of days. But what we do have to be concerned about is this area of high pressure, which will be giving us those highs in the 40s and 50s for at least Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. This is how it plays out. You see that cold front? It doesn't really go anywhere. It kind of just stays in the same location and actually it weakens just a little bit. But that area of high pressure, it's going to be planted right over central Idaho, which gives us those highs in the 40s and dry weather through at least Wednesday. But what's going on just off the coast of the western United States? That's another storm system that we're going to have to watch. And if it does get its act together by Thursday, we could be dealing with a little bit of a mixed for your Thanksgiving night. I'll have more details on that at 5.30 and 10.